Hey YouTube, welcome to another video. And today I'm talking about Christmas stuff. Well, not so much Christmas stuff, more of like what people are complaining about during Christmas. Like one thing I complain about is Christmas stuff that they sell at the supermarkets come out way too early. Like right after Halloween, Christmas things are stocked through all, all the aisles. I'm hearing Christmas songs right after Halloween? That makes no damn sense. I'm boycotting that. that. This should be a rule. They should put December 1st as a time that you can load the shelves with Christmas stuff. It seems like being offended is the new trend or the new fad. Everybody gets offended. Boycotting on social media. People on social media started to express an unliking to the 1964 stop motion Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer television show that usually airs during December. I watched that Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer rerun many, many times over during the years. People started to express their unliking for this television show when the Huffington Post posted a social media video that was edited and picking out points that were not good. Like, Rudolph is getting bullied and abused. Rudolph is also getting verbally abused by his father and forcing him to put a cover over his birth defect, his red nose. <laughs> If my son was that ugly, I would put a cover. No, I'm kidding, okay, no. Of course, with anything, if you nick and pick at each individual part of the whole entire picture, you're gonna pick out the negative points. Of course, it's gonna look negative that way. But you have to understand, at the end of this television show, Rudolph comes up on top. He leads the sled of reindeers. And this is so strange that I'm talking about a made up Rudolph who's a red-nosed reindeer, and I'm metaphorically comparing it to my life. That's really weird. He overcomes all the abuse. He finds strength in himself and others that support him, like the misfit toys. This television show gives hope to kids that feel like they don't belong to a certain group or don't belong with their friends or nobody understands them. They are not fitting in. They're misfits themselves. This gives that hope, something to push you forward. Of course, you can nitpick and pick out the negative stuff, but I choose to pick out the positive things in this TV show that is ridiculously old. Bullying and abuse, the themes are still relevant to us now. I'm getting really serious about a television show about a red nose reindeer. <laughs> Baby, it's cold outside. And this song is actually taken off air through all Canadian radio broadcasting because the lyrics in this song have suggestive and inappropriate themes. This song is about a guy pursuing a woman and trying to keep her inside, away from the cold, but it's directed more sexually than, oh my god, you're, you shouldn't be cold, it's too cold outside, you should stay inside, you know, keep warm, because I'm a gentleman. An artist, when they go out and make a song, they have artistic leeway. They can exaggerate things, they can express things, and that's the reason why you have that. It's part of the freedom of speech. Obviously, back 70 years ago, the themes and stuff during that time is different than the themes and things during this time. And that's the reason why the song is that way. And I'm pretty sure a song like that wouldn't be made nowadays because of this exact same reason. People are scared that it's going to be controversial. Everybody's going to boycott it and you're obviously not going to get viral. Back 70 years ago, that song was viral. It won some awards. Taking the song off the air and not talking about it is sort of hiding history. It's not good. Everyone's complaining about it. Let's, let's hide it. No, let's actually talk about these topics. Yes, they're suggestive and inappropriate. And these themes are still happening today. Rape, sexual aggression, sexual harassment, creepy people aggressively hitting on people. As a guy who in society expects to chase or to pursue a woman. It's the guy's job to ask the woman out. It's the guy's job to propose to the woman. I know those trends are changing, but in many cultures, it's not. It's the guy that does the leading. And luckily for me, I've learned to read signs. When a girl is not wanting your attention, she's gonna tell you. She's gonna give you body language. She's gonna tell you verbally. And you gotta listen to those signs. If she is being dead serious and she has a bitch face, and she's telling you to fuck off. Seriously, fuck off. But you know, if she's joking around, it's like, oh, stop it. Like, it's difficult to tell if she's joking around or not joking around. For me, I have played it by ear. You know, I push one step forward and then take two steps back and just kind of feel out the situation. And it's worked for me. But if you're taking two steps forward and then two steps forward again, and then 
two steps forward more and she's pushing you away and you're not stopping. I know how they say that persistence pays off. Within reason, I don't think that persistence will pay off. I think that will get you thrown in jail or at least social media shamed. Let's hear what you guys think in the comments below. What do you think? Do you think these songs should get banned uh, because of the lyrics that they have? Then you might as well ban all the Eminem songs. And I love Eminem. His lyrics were not suggestive. They were straight on direct at whatever he was talking about. And it was in the 90s. People weren't getting offended that easily. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Hit that little bell that alerts you. Share the video. Watch the other videos. As always, M Square out.